The Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is largely an opinion talk show. All opinions, comments, or statements of fact expressed by Rob McConnell's guests are strictly their own and are not to be construed as those of the Exxon Radio Show or endorsed in any manner by Rob McConnell, Relmar McConnell Media Company, the Exxon Broadcast Network, its affiliated networks, stations, employees, or advertisers. All Hit Radio. Welcome to the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. Welcome back, everyone. This is the X Zone. I am Rob McConnell coming to you from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Our guest this hour is Peter Kling, and uh, many of you may be asking yourself right now, who is Peter Kling? Well, let me tell you. The, King, the Kling family has a 500-year history of standing for the truth, starting with the reformation of the church. Following in his ancestors' footsteps, Peter Kling began his education in the scriptures before the age of five and his education in the sciences by the age of ten. Peter first started seeing future events at the age of nine, had alien contact at the age of 18, has survived attempts on his life 16 times, including an NDE or near-death experience, in which he crossed over and was sent back. Becoming a scientist, Peter used his education and life experience to unlock the secrets in the scriptures, uh, which the church has kept hidden for over a thousand years. Joining me now is my friend Peter Kling, and Peter, welcome back to the Exxon. It is my pleasure, Rob. You know, that may all sound very fantastic, but... Uh, I only found out the beginning of the story at the end of the chapter. <laughs> you know, it was one of those replays. I sure. only found out my family history two years ago. And they actually stood with Martin Luther back when Luther, uh, well, they all denounced the church together. Mm-hmm. And for that, they actually, the church, I'm sure they cursed the family because they tried, they had a continuous murderous war against those families who sided with Martin Luther, then that, that war lasted until the Napoleonic Wars. It was over almost 250 years. They, wherever they would find one of the Kling family, they would murder them. Not so, a nice thing to do. But I'm glad. No, you, I'm not, gl- not a nice thing to do. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's, it really hasn't changed. <laughs> and here's the crazy part. We're at the uh, the 500-year Reformation mm-hmm. against the church was October 31st, 2017. It's like, really? 500-year anniversary? How does that all come about right now? So, and we've got some bizarre things happening on oh, this planet. Big time. Big time. And in fact, we're going to speak about a couple of them tonight. But first of all, I'd like to go back just to last month to the the mass shooting in Florida. What, what what do you think that, how do you make sense of something like that, Peter, if anyone can? Yeah, you, you, you can actually make sense of it if you get all the information. And this is actually a false flag attack where I'm sure people got killed. And I'll tell you why. Where did they hold this false flag? Where, where, where was this shooting? It was in a high school, right? Yeah. Yes, it was. How many kids have smartphones or iPhones or some phone? Every one of those phones is going to be going off. Yeah. There should have been at least 100 videos of that. At least. Come on, every kid with a smartphone is going to be turning it on. Right. You know, they're ducking for cover, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, wait a minute. I did get to see a couple of those uh, of those smartphone printouts or, or in a video, right? And it's floating around on YouTube somewhere. And these kids were totally scared, and you can hear several gunshots, and and they're reporting seeing that their fellow students and, and and teacher getting killed, right? So, and they're talking about. Not some student with an AK, I mean, with a, an AR-15. They're talking about some people coming in in body armor. 
Now, wait a minute, body armor? Now, there's also another video of, of a girl who's talking to the accused killer outside of the school while the shots are going on inside the school. And then there's the whole thing about the Broward County uh, Sheriff's Department or whatever. Uh, maybe it's not. Uh, yeah, I believe it is. <laughs> Sorry, they changed it from Broward County to Coward County. Um, but he, there's a stand down order that goes to his deputies. Why aren't those guys running in trying to save lives? Maybe because there's uh, a military SWAT team in there. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the Secret Service, for some reason, was involved in a drill that went on earlier in, this, in the day in this same school. The kids thought it was just another drill. And here you've got a live shooter event. So, yeah, people got killed. Is the right narrative going out? No, but for some reason... Oh, let's think what it could possibly be. Could it possibly be to politicize uh, gun control? And, and now we've got shootings with and and where did this kid come from? This Hoggis kid. Oh, he, he, wait a minute. His dad's a member of the FBI or connected to the FBI. And he graduated from some school out on the West Coast. And CNN makes him a spokesman hero. And yeah. then just yesterday, they, they essentially politicized kids to the to the point across the country where they're all in protest against America's Second Amendment. So now we should listen to our children and say, yep, we need to change the Constitution, kids. You're 100 percent correct. Let's see. Uh, does this ring of the Simpsons family where the kids tell the parents what to do? It, yeah, it, 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 sure does. it certainly does. It certainly does. And looking at CNN, they have their own political agenda. And oh, how please. they're able to pull as many strings as they do and keep the amount of crap they have going on the air and inciting riots, I have no idea why they haven't uh, been sanctioned by the FCC yet. I have no, well, I'll tell you why, because it's CIA network news. It's just mm -hmm. that simple. They were the second ones on the school shooting right behind the FBI. Oh, wait a minute. That's, that's the story that goes out. Uh, do they not count the cowards of Broward County there that wouldn't go into the school? Now, here's the crazy thing, Rob. You're going to say, where, where in the world would you get somebody that would go in and, and, and shoot up a school? Okay, these guys came in in tactical gear, tactical body armor. You got police sitting outside, not going in the school. Something stinks here. Something's just not right. And these are the kids they had to get shot at. And, and a teacher that, that survived the shooting is talking about this, uh, the shooters being in body armor. So how does this happen? Let's talk about the deep state for a minute. Uh, you mean to tell me that they can't turn around, uh, drug somebody, have them go carry off a mission, come back, and then erase their memory of what they just carried off? Oh, indeed they did. Well, it sounds, I bet you the shooters don't even have an idea on, on what they did on this mission. Sounds like another Manchurian candidate. No, it's way beyond that. It's way beyond that. I've got a friend who, who was in the services, and I'll be real short with this one because okay. it's – I don't have his permission to speak freely. But uh, he was on missions, and this is back during the days of Ollie North. He was mm -hmm. on missions that – he know he was, so, he was on the mission. He knows people got killed, but he has no memory of the mission. Oh, wait a minute. What happened? He doesn't know. He can't remember. He, know, he knows up to certain points, and that's it. It's gone. So if they had that technology 40, uh, 30 years ago, what do they have now? You see, it's always a mind game. And, and, and so you can't – we don't know the technology that they have here. We only know for sure what we're being fed. But here's the truth. Everything that's, that we're being fed is tainted. There's a, a, a modicum of truth. Yeah, there was, there was a shooting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was a drill before the shooting. And, and then it was instantly politicized. You know, where's the morning? I mean, th these bodies weren't cold yet. And, and all of a sudden, uh, we got kids outraged with, with ARs uh, against uh, assault weapons. Okay. What? All right. So who do you think was behind this uh, false flag? Uh, you got to go back to the deep state. And, and people say, oh, there's the deep state. Nobody knows what it's about. Yeah. We kind of do. 
Um, and this will actually take us into biblical prophecy somewhat, where it actually says in Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, that the man of lawlessness would be exposed. Now, you look at what's going on, mm -hmm. especially here in, in the United States. Uh, is there not a group that is above the law of this land, which has committed treason and murder and, and extortion, uh, and they keep on carrying on what they're doing? They're involved in the drug trade and the child trafficking trade? I believe there is. Yeah, and, and you know what most people don't comprehend is that there's a coup going on in America right now to overthrow the government. When we look at the evidence that is being provided on what had happened through these FISA warrants, mm -hmm. through these different documents, uh, that, 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 or these dossiers that Hillary Clinton paid for, and then Obama wanted to be updated on, on the, the, the FISA warrants and, and what they were tapping on a daily basis on, on a uh, candidate for president is a treasonous act. Think about that. And yet, nobody has been held to account for these acts yet. Ah, but, and you're never going to see it in a court of law. However, we may see it in a military tribunal. All right, stand by, Peter. We've got to take our first break. Peter Kling is my special guest, a good friend of the Exxon. Peter's website is peterkling.com. And Peter and I will be back on the other side of this break as we continue from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Don't go away. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the Exxon Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere. 24-7-365. You have heard of the X-Zone? Now watch it on Simo TV. Plus 500 video games, live TV channels, free video on demand worldwide and more does this sound like tomorrow's television well it is but you can have it today right now it is simul tv simul tv offers what the others only wish they could provide 15 exclusive channels like x-zone sci-fi and horror we are worldwide no other provider offers that 500 built-in video games no need to have an extra expensive system we have them included free video on demand live streaming events from around the world, interactive online network, and much more. Tomorrow's TV today, Simul TV. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. You can have Simul TV today. Sign up at simultv.com. Do it today. Modern Esoteric, Beyond Our Senses by Brad Olson, consummates the lifeology story about where humanity originates. It is the lost continents, the primitive wisdom, the mythos of creation, and the rethinking of ancient history as we are taught in academia. There is much more to the story than what we have been told. As this is the first book in the Esoteric series, Modern Esoteric starts at the beginning of time and accelerates up to this modern age. Future Esoteric is book two in the series and takes a forward-looking position ahead of today with an open and honest examination of the ET issue and various unexplained phenomena. To discover the writings of author Brad Olson, visit www.bradolson.com. That's www.bradolson.com.
Peter Kling is my guest this hour, Exxon Nation, www.peterkling.com. Uh, all right, Peter, you kind of, we kind of left the audience up in the air when we said that they may be held accountable in a military court. How do we get there? Uh, well, if they, if they committed an act of treason against the United States of America, it's not going to go to a judicial court. It'll go to a military court. Treason is... Uh, an act against the Constitution, mm-hmm. and so now you bring in the military, and you have, and they hold a military uh, tribunal. Now, who has the authority in the United States to hold whoever is found accountable for this? And I'm sure there's enough evidence to bring charges if the powers to be wanted to enforce the law as it sits. How would these uh, perpetrators of this? treasonous act be uh, charged that's a good question there's now supposed to be 18,000 sealed indictments that are going already being handed out a lot of a lot of this whole tr- uh, Mueller Trump investigation that's all a sideshow that's a sideshow to what's going on behind the scenes and it's a distraction uh, this whole man of lawlessness class is in the process of being exposed. And a year ago, we didn't know definitively that there were acts of treason in several different ways, but that proof has now become public knowledge. So, it, and there's an internal investigation that's going on, and take a look at what's what's happening with Comey. Whatever he did uh, in the FBI was so bad that they are contemplating firing him before he gets his pension on Sunday. Think about that. But I thought Comey was already fired. uh, That that may be breaking news because he was pleading for his job today. Wait wait a sec, FBI Director Comey? No, 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 I'm sorry. Not not Comey, uh, McCabe. Wrong one. All right, okay. I was going to say. Uh, try, I was going to say. To what the heck happened when I was awake today? Players in Washington is, is, yeah. is a job in itself. I apologize. So yeah, it, it's. I believe he's the assistant director now. Um, I, I, I look at these things and just shake my head and say, okay, there's another one. There's another one. Mm-hmm. And, and if we take a look, this is public information because it's dealing with public companies. Take a look at the number of CEOs that have resigned since October. And keep in mind, now, the only real thing that we know for sure is that Trump declared a state of emergency in the United States. He issued an executive order on December 21st, 2017, and it was to address human rights violations and conspiracy. Conspiracy is a pretty damn wide paintbrush, wouldn't you say? It is. Yeah. Yeah. And in there are articles that if you use the government for your own personal gain, that is conspiring uh, against the government and the people of the that, – that, uh, and we the people. Mm-hmm. So uh, let me see. Go look at what they pay Congress uh, in the United States and then go look at their net worth. Oh, well, everybody knows that there are certain members of the government who have their pockets filled by the right – people who want favors done sure absolutely mm-hmm. absolutely so, but but that's using the government to their own advantage and that's that's a that, that's a matter of conspiracy so when you go to chop a tree down where do you start you start down close to the roots right at the trunk mm-hmm. and as these indictments go out people are going to start singing louder and louder and louder and, and the whole thing will, will unravel until they get to where they want to go um you know, we're just going to have to see how this plays out. And when it does, we're going to see a lot of change. The, the one thing that they don't want to do is have this all become public knowledge. Because as soon – could you imagine what CNN would do with this? They'd be rioting in the streets as, as soon as they, they they knew that they were going after Obama and, and Clinton. Well, of course. They're instigators. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's enough nonsense going on with just uh, this – bizarre school shooting that we saw they, they they've turned around and 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 the kids don't here's the here's the latest thing that's come out there was a kid that was expelled from school because he wouldn't protest he wouldn't be part of the protesters 
Uh, really? Okay. Now, now because they don't want to join your narrative, uh, you're going to expel the child from school. Hmm. Wow. So what have we embraced here in the United States? I, I don't know anymore. Yeah, I don't know anymore. You know, you I, know? I, I'm sitting up above the 49th parallel looking down, and, you know, we, ha- we have property in the States. We love the States. And I, I remember a couple of years ago, two years ago, shortly after President Trump was elected, we were on a cruise going to investigate something in the Bermuda Triangle. And the people were bamboozled. They could not understand why President Trump was elected, why a politician wasn't elected, why the people voted somebody in who wasn't a politician. And to me, the answer was right there. How many politicians does it take to prove to the country that the political system is rigged? Uh, Rob, I I read something the other day that that I had to go research. Mm -hmm. And and I don't know if you heard President President Trump's speech last week where he said that he called Maxine Waters low IQ Maxine. Well, Maxine Waters had had to go tweet. And she said, how dare that SOB uh, in, in pl- call me low IQ Maxine? Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to get this as close to, to memory as I can. Sure. Go look it up yourself. And, and she, she says, how dare him expect a, a, a colored woman, an, a, a color, a, an older woman of, of color, yeah. uh, go pee in a cup to prove her IQ? I was like, wait a minute. I researched that she actually tweeted that out. Where did that come from? Go pee in a cup to pr- I think we just proved our IQ. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it, it's like I, I actually had to go back and I went back and, and looked at the Twitter post. Yeah. I mean, people just I mean, they, they were all over her like uh, you, you wouldn't believe after that that post. But. She actually said, put that out on Twitter, and it was her account. Okay. Listen, let me ask you something. You, you, you know, you, you're media savvy, and uh, you know, I, I, I respect your opinion. Why do you think people take to Twitter? I, I you know, like I don't understand it. Uh, I don't understand it either. I, I do have a Twitter account. I don't tweet. Yeah. Uh, I, I play on Facebook. I, I post on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, mo- I'll tell you what I do most of the time is try to figure out, put the pieces together of this stupid puzzle that we have going on and figure out what's what's happening, not by the narrative, not by what we're being told. But I always, you know, it's standard operation, go back and check the, the prophecies to see where we are. Right. And we something that I that I wrote in Letters to Earth uh, is that look at the symbols Follow the symbols and the things that we're being fed. And this all, it's all starting to come together. And I'm going to, we hear so many different bizarre things. And what we see going on in the United States, I'm going to tie this over into another total different area here in just a second, but it comes together. And I've mentioned this on the show several times. We saw... Uh, at the end of the tetrid blood moons, and if you don't know what they are, go look them up, we saw uh, the Pope, the illegal Jesuit Pope. For those of you who don't know, Jesuits cannot hold the, the, the position of white Pope, not the black Pope, white Pope, the Pope of the Holy See. Uh, and here we have an illegal Jesuit Pope that comes in on 313.13, an important date. Keep that date in mind. And uh, he's standing in America's holy places. He's standing in the Capitol, telling our politicians what to do. Uh, The Speaker of the House breaks down into tears uh, while the Pope is giving his speech. And and when the Pope is done, he resigns his position. Think about that. What caused that? And and you're talking about Speaker Boehner. And you were talking about Speaker Boehner at this point. Yes, yeah. yes. 
John, John Boehner, I, you could there's pictures of him crying yeah. as the Pope is speaking, and, and and then he resigns right after the Pope's done. So why did he resign? I'd love to know the answer. You know his personal answer, truthful answer. Mm-hmm. The only thing that I could say is he didn't want to be proxy to what the Pope was telling the, the our Congress what to do. And why, there you have it. Why so is the Pope now, given so much authority? Yeah, you see why? Because uh, the Romans invented incorporation and the Catholic Church perfected it. And the all everything's incorporated. It's the United States of America Incorporated. It goes right down to your local town is, in, is a corporation. It's a dead entity. But here's the thing. If it's the mother of all corporations, guess who, guess who controls the corporations? Yep, all roads lead to Rome. Mm-hmm. And so here's the, set, here's the other side of this coin. Just as in the days of the Knights Templar, where they were above the law of the land. They only answered to the Pope. Today, we have the Knights of Malta, who are above the law of the land and only answer to the Pope. And think of the feudal knighthood, how it goes. And you see, when those knights raise to positions of power, they can pretty much rape the land and the people in the land. Uh, And... Here is an interesting coincidence. Uh, Ronald Reagan, Knight of Malta. Uh, George Sr., Knight of Malta. Bill Clinton, Knight of Malta. Mm. Uh, Baby Bush, Knight of Malta. All the Bush boys are Knights of Malta, uh, including Prescott Jr. and uh, Prescott. From our broadcast studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, to the world and beyond. You're watching the Exxon Broadcast Network, www.xzbn.net. ABS Media The scientist and the mystic have been on an age-old relentless search with one thing in common. They seek truth. Their paths converge in the 40,000-year-old practice of shamanism, an ancient science delving to the quantum level of life, facilitating healing, manifestation, and evolution. I'm Gwilda Wiecka, the founder and director of Path Home Shamanic Arts School, a unique Colorado State certified occupational school training shamanic practitioners and teachers. We also provide classes for empowering personal lives through shamanism. Our certification classes are in week-long segments, enabling international participation, and online classes and long-distance shamanic healing sessions are available. Come discover the science of magic in the limitless world of shamanism. www.findyourpathhome.com Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the Exxon Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere. 24-7-365. Rob McConnell here, presenting an overview for Nicholas Paul Jinnick's, author of a fascinating book, Amen. It presents facts revealed by Egyptologists, facts that enable us to understand why Amen is the beginning of creation of God. It provides recommendations for religious leaders of the major religions to unify their beliefs and teach the Word of God, love one another. Amen informs people how mankind conceived God. It was the Egyptians that developed the concepts of a soul, a hereafter, and son of God, and finally, After the worship of many gods, 
they conceive the belief in one universal God, the maker of all there is. For more information, visit www.futureofgodamen.com. That's www.futureofgodamen.com. Peter Kling is our guest, www.peterkling.com. And uh, Peter, we've been talking about the mass shooting in Florida. We've been talking about um, it being a, a black flag operation. We're talking now about the Pope and the, the power the Pope wields within the U.S. government. How has this been allowed to continue throughout the years? Well, it's not how it's continued. It, it's more or less how did it get infected? You see, because it's not just that end of it. Uh, in 2015, mm -hmm. I believe it was the end of March, we also had another world leader standing before Congress telling our, our government what to do. And that was Benjamin Netanyahu. So wait a minute. Well, the House is divided. It, it's got outside influence both by the Jesuits mm -hmm. and by the Zionists. And and that, that's the, the, the dead grip that it's it's in. Now, the situation as it stands, Trump says he's going to drain the swamp. Well, you got to get half the swamp monsters to help kill off the other half of the swamp monsters. And here comes another biblical prophecy because right. – the, the, the religion's going to fall. But how does it fall? By exposing the lawless ones. Uh, you know, once this is all exposed, uh, th there's going to be a, a, a lot of upset people. Now, it's interesting that in this presidential or in the uh, executive order that Trump signed, they can seize pro uh, property. Well, actually, they can freeze it. They can freeze your assets until they deem that there's enough evidence that they can then take them. And so they, they block every, it's, it's actually called blocking. Uh, they, they block everything that you have. That's one of the reasons that all these CEOs mm -hmm. dropped off, excuse me. Sure. Uh, that, that will, will let, will let go. Uh, I got family coming up to visit. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> but, this, but that, that one isn't one of them. Uh, we'll, we'll continue. The, uh, oh, I, I do apologize. Sure. For these this. things happen. Hold, these hold things, on. sure. On the radio, I'll call you back. That was quick. Better than listening to the phone ring. Oh, that's true. <laughs> That's true. Live radio. I do have family go. coming up. Uh, as a matter of fact, my, my son is – I've got two sons that are on their way up here. One mm -hmm. is bringing his wife and children, and this is a permanent move for them. So it's like, yeah, I don't want to miss that call, but that wasn't it. <laughs> I told I told him I, I was going to be on the radio tonight, so he knows to call afterward. But um, anyway, let's get back to, to the subject, and I apologize for the interruption. Sure. The uh, and and where were we now that that we did get interrupted? We were talking about Donald Trump having to drain half the swamp. Oh, yes, so we've got these two factions. Uh, we've got the Zionist faction and the Jesuit faction that that we have controlling our Congress, and that's why uh, it, there's so much deadlock all the time. And I, you can't really say who's on what side, and does it fall among religious lines? Probably mm -hmm. not. It, it gets so intertwined that, that, that it's like unbelievable. To become a congressman, you've got to go through a whole series of almost initiations, and then they can't fire you. So you know they, you, they have to force you to step down. They, they can do that, but it's like you take all your rights and all your benefits and everything with you. That's how it is right now. But we've got this influence. Think of the, the religious influence in itself that's gone back and forth between these two groups. Mm -hmm. And it all deals with money. When we go back to the Knights Templar, there were two riders on that horse. And the Knights Templar were granted uh, – they well, they, they started the bankster system, if you want to call it that. They started what is our modern-day banking system. And so who's the banking system controlled by? You always follow the money, controlled by the Jesuits and the Zionists. Mm -hmm. 
And so you control the money, you control where the investment of that money goes, and then you can control people's lives and, and then start blackmailing them and then getting them to vote your way and, and, and greasing their palms when they do. And you want to buy uranium? Sure. Or we're going to have a speaking engagement over in your country. Uh, you're going to make large donations to us. And, and we'll make sure, wink, wink, nod, nod, that everything goes through without a hitch, even if it does take several years. And so you get things like that that start happening, and they're all above the law. Because just like the Knights Templar, they could do whatever they wanted. They only answered to the Pope. Think of who it was. It was, it was uh, King Philip the Fair, who was – he owed the Knights Templars huge amounts of money. And he put the pressure on the Pope to ban him because he couldn't do anything. His hands were tied. So they actually had kings indebted to them. Wow. Think about that. Today – there's whole nations indebted to them. How much do we owe the Federal Reserve? Uh, close to $21 trillion now. And then you start going into the debt markets that are controlling the world. We're up to about four quadrillion dollars is in the, the financial debt market. Mm-hmm. It's a, wait a minute. Who do we owe this money to? Where did all this money come from? It, it gets to be insane numbers, so they don't mean anything anymore. Yeah. You know, if the Federal Reserve no longer exists, do we still owe the Federal Reserve $21 trillion? Wow. Think about it. So taking down the deep state is an exposing of all of the lies. And so we're going to be in for some pretty interesting times because mm-hmm. this is just – the distraction in our country that we're dealing with, and it's part of a political coup in an attempt to overthrow a sitting uh, sitting president. It's alleged that Trump has ducked assassination attempts seven times. He does not use the Secret Service to, to guard him. He has his own Secret Service. His own security force guards it, it guards him. Smart move because both Bobby and Johnny uh, chose the Secret Service, which is a connection to guess where? The Vatican. Same as it was Secret Service SS, uh, the notorious SS in Nazi Germany, Operation Paperclip. Think about it. It's all linked together. And, and so you have the same controlling factors. And, and the craziness is, is that there's only two narratives behind all of this. One that comes out of the scriptures that we were created as gods. The other one that comes out of the Anunnaki texts that say that uh, we were genetically engineered from lower life forms mm-hmm. to serve kings and mine gold for the gods. So, oh, we were created to be alien slaves? I don't think so. So we're going to experience change. It's coming. Trust me, the scriptures are correct. The prophecies are correct. Religion got it all screwed up. But, you know, I'll point out one quick thing, Rob. Uh, Genesis 2, Mm -hmm. 21 through 23 is a record of genetic engineering. So who are the genetic engineers? I figured that out in 1980 and changed the whole Bible from there. Holy mystery solved. So we have to look at it from a totally different viewpoint, throw religion out the window. So, so, so let, me, let me ask you, before we get back into the religious aspect, let's get back into the political aspect just for a few more minutes before we go to our next break. So what is Donald Trump in all this? Is he a sacrificial lamb or is he an escape goat? Yeah, six, one, half dozen of the other. That's a good question. It, 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 we'll have to see how this plays out. Here's the thing. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that if you go back to the, into your archives, you'll see where I've said this before the election, mm-hmm. that Trump would be elected president. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And, and I said that the England would have a Brexit. And it did. And, and the reason for this was linked to biblical prophecy. It's because it's out of two prophecies, one in Revelation 13 and one in Revelation chapter 19. And that is the prophecy about the false prophet. Now, people say, oh, there's the Pope. No, 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 no. You don't know anything about biblical prophecy. Sit down. Uh, Whenever you see a beast, it's a kingdom, or I say it's a governmental form. In in, uh, the past, it's been world empires. 
uh, and I'll point this out in just a minute. Whenever you see a horn in biblical prophecy, that's a kingdom. So the body is the beast. The horn is the kingdom. And with this false prophet, it has two horns and it looks like a lamb, but it speaks like a dragon and it has the, the ability to call fire down from heaven. Let's see. Uh, you mean like Nagasaki, Hiroshima, Dresden, uh, a couple other places in Germany that they burn to the ground? But more so Nagasaki and Hiroshima because that's literally nuclear fire from heaven. Uh, there are occasions, and we have evidence of the earth having been vitrified, uh, the ground melted from centuries in the past. So now we have the technology to do it. How about that? So with everything that's going on in Washington, the Mueller investigation, the Russia probe, uh, now with his, uh, who is it, Eric's wife, Eric and his wife separated, the uh, shakeup with uh, Tillerson, uh, how is this going to affect the stability of the United States? Uh, well, a national emergency has already be, been declared. Is that one step away from uh, martial law? Wow. Yeah. You know, that's why I say get out of the cities. Cities are going to be death traps. I'm so thrilled that my, my son and family are finally coming up here. Uh, th th we've been working on this uh, since 2011. But it all gelled in 2015. It's like, uh-oh, time to go. When I saw the Pope standing in America's holy places, it took me right to Matthew, the 24th chapter, verse 15, where it says, when you catch the disgusting thing which causes desolation, uh, standing in a place where it ought not, then flee to the mountains. Peter, stand by. We've got to take our final break. Exonation. Peter Kling is my guest, www.peterkling.com. And we'll be back on the other side of this break as we wrap up this hour here in the Exxon with yours truly, Rob McConnell. Don't go away. You have heard of the Exxon? Now watch it on Simul TV plus 500 video games, live TV channels, free video on demand, worldwide, and more. Does this sound like tomorrow's television? Well, it is, but you can have it today, right now. It is Simul TV. Simul TV offers what the others only wish they could provide. 15 exclusive channels like Exxon, Sci-Fi, and Horror. We are worldwide. No other provider offers that. 500 built-in video games. No need to have an extra expensive system. We have them included. Free video on demand. Live streaming events from around the world. Interactive online network and much more. Tomorrow's TV today. Simul TV. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. You can have Simul TV today. Sign up at simultv.com. Do it today. The new nonfiction book, Razor of Madness, is similar to cult movies like Clockwork Orange, Dragon's Tattoo, or The Other Side of Hell. Wayne Morin Jr. and Thomas Lee Howe will expose widespread and systematic deficiencies in this thought-provoking tell-all novel. Mind control rages among scholars in law schools. Human rights are ignored while thought reform and mental manipulation are accepted practices used as behavior modification. Dr. Louis Jolion West comes to mind. Media and public scrutiny shows that United States mental hospitals are in fact destructive murder industries. Razor of Madness Expose Novel details this epidemic through an in-depth professional and personal investigation. For decades there has been a revolving door policy that still releases killers and pedophiles back into society. The maestro of mind control continues to haunt America to this very day. Razor of Madness is available in paperback or as a downloadable ebook at Amazon.com. I'm William S. Peckham. If you enjoy a good mystery with a touch of the paranormal, then you'll love my novel, From Out of the Woodwork. It's the story of a young Toronto contractor, Sean Kennedy, who buys derelict homes, guts them, and turns them into multifamily dwellings. Slums just waiting to happen. When Sean buys 29 Livery Lane, the house fights back. Former owners unexpectedly come out of the woodwork 
as he starts the destruction. The apparitions come to him when he touches old books, reads hidden letters, rummages through old boxes, finds a locket or reads a discovered manuscript of a murder mystery. From out of the woodwork will take you from 1899 to the horror of the World Trade Center, September 11, 2001. Check out From Out of the Woodwork on my website, www.williamspeckham.com. Peter Kling is our guest, peterkling.com. And Peter, do you think that anything can be done to avoid the the grave situation that you see based on biblical prophecies in the United States? Well, I look at it as kind of a fantastic thing, actually. I wouldn't say how grave it is when, when you see prophecies. <laughs> when you're the Einstein of biblical prophecy, you can keep track of them. You're starting to see them come about. It's like, yeah, there's another one. Check. There's another one. Check. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it, this has to be exposed. You know, the, the, whenever you are judging something on a world scale, and that's what really what this is, because the whole world is watching. When when, when something is being judged on a world scale, uh, it, it's going to take time to unravel. But when it does, it, it'll unravel for the better. All right, now, Peter, I, ju- I would just like to, uh, to interrupt you here. I was... Uh told by my newsroom that it's Eric, it's Donald Trump Jr. and his wife Vanessa that are separating, not Eric Jr. So, uh, okay. Well, a correction there. Yeah. I, I did, I did not, did not hear that yet. I know that the, you know, come on, this has got to be a political hotbed and, and it's got to be tough on, on the whole family for what, what Donald's going through. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's going to cause stresses. It's going to cause stresses and problems. Well, Donald and, Jr. and his wife have five children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, you know, I'd much rather I'd much rather see that than what we had for the last eight years, where I don't even want to comment about. At least I know there's somewhat of a real family in the White House. All right, let's get, let's just talk about uh, Obama and and uh, Hillary because. We don't hear about anything anymore. It's like it's been swept under the carpet. Uh, I, yeah, you know, Hillary's on a tour over in uh, India, or she was on a tour over in India, and I just saw <laughs> Obama picked out the, who's going to win the uh, NCAA playoffs. Uh, he, he, he tweeted that out today. Um, they're allowed to roam, but I don't think they're allowed to go very far. You know, that the, they're being kept mm-hmm. track of and on our trip to India, somebody posted footage of uh, her collapsing twice walking downstairs. She lost her footing twice and had to be helped down a set of stairs. So her health is failing her. Um, Exactly. There's some speculation as to why, but, uh, you know, stay tuned. This is going to get good. There's one prophecy that I absolutely love, and it's, it's, uh, the nation shall declare peace and security. Uh, right now, we don't have either one. Of course, there's a B part to that peace and security. It says then the end will come. Uh, it, it, will, it, will be, it will come like the pangs of distress upon a pregnant woman. In other words, when a woman goes into labor. But what happens at the end of the labor? You get a baby and everybody's happy. So we're going to go through some planetary labor pains, which might become quite extensive. Uh, Trump, you know, we could talk about a, a little bit more into the prophecy. I thought that it was insane to, to link him up to prophecy. Just, you know, he is doing stuff, but to hook him up to something. However, Israel did. And Israel called him the greater Cyrus. Now, wait a second. This, uh, if we look at our, our history here, mm-hmm. it was uh, Cyrus who was king of the Medes and the Persians who led the victorious conquest against Babylon. Oh, and would this be the same conquest that we see on a greater scale against Babylon the Great to release the Jews so they could go back to their homeland? Well, people say, well, the Jews are already back in Israel. Yeah, but uh, Israel's controlled by the by the Vatican. Huh. Half controlled by the Vatican. The Vatican literally owns 
well over 60%. Last I knew it was about 63% of the, the city of Jerusalem, including all of the real estate around the Temple Mount. They own outright. And they were one document from gaining control of it when the vote came up at the end of last year where uh, the U.N. voted against uh, Jerusalem becoming uh, the, the, the well, they, they voted to give it to the Palestinians or to give Palestinians permanent access. And that killed the Vatican deal or at least put it off. So, you know, this is never ending conquest for, for the Holy Land. However, uh, we look at there's the other side. What about the Medes? Mm -hmm. Look at what Putin has done as far as being pro-Israel. And then think about what's going on in Syria. Do the research. See what Putin has done. If you deny the Holocaust, you could be looking at five years in prison in, in Russia right now. Think about that. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, totally pro-Israel. And he came forth and said that he wanted to help rebuild Solomon's temple. All right. So by, by, by President Trump putting the, the embassy in Jerusalem, is that a smart move? Yeah, what's the difference? You know, it, it, it gives it, it empowers Jerusalem and, and it caught the whole world a little bit off guard. But it wasn't really Trump that put it there. That bill was brought up back in the 90s or, or late 80s. I forget exactly when. But each president had to stop that bill from going into law by signing off on it every six months. Trump just refused to sign off on it. He let it go into law, and then he signed it, right. signed it into law. So it's not like this was Trump's plan. Trump just let history play itself out. And he, everything that he's done has been very pro-Israel, so we can see in a major way, but hey, even though you, the narrative is now that, well, it's Russia collusion, mm -hmm. uh, the United States hates Russia, yeah, that's the narrative. Uh, wait a minute. They're both pro-Israel, which means they're working together. Well, what about China? Yeah. Let's see. I, if you recall, I also said this quite a while before Trump became president and after he became president. I said, if you ever put Trump, Putin and Xi in the same room, those three men can change the world. And that happened the end of November in Vietnam. Uh, that was a meeting behind closed doors that nobody was uh, allowed to enter. So whatever was talked about there was probably quite interesting. All right, quickly, we've got about uh, three minutes left. Um, the planned summit between North Korea and President uh, Trump, what's your take on that? That may have already been all decided. It's all all put into motion. It, it's all carried out. It just has to be finalized. Handshakes, spats on the back. Photo ops, and then we're, then you're probably going to see North and South Korea be reunited, and very well possibly handed back to the uh, original royal family. So why is there so much skepticism within the powers to be in Washington that this is all hype with nothing behind it? Trump's a, a fantastic strategic player. I agree. And he's and he's not a politician. Would you want to play poker with Trump? No, sir. Or, would you want to play chess with the man? No, sir. No, because he'll outthink you before he gets to the end. But I've said this is stuck in politician mode and he's stuck in CEO mode. That's right, because the country is a business. It, absolutely. I said right. back when back when Perot was running for president, I said, hey, what a great idea. Make a big capitalist head of a capitalist country. Exactly. The, the, what kind of brain power does that take? Hey, let me go sense. pee in a cup here. <laughs> 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 it's good that you can laugh at this stuff. Sure. You know, when you know what when you know what's coming, you mm -hmm. can laugh at it. And, and we really do have a fantastic future, but we're gonna have to get past a Star Wars event here because the last card will be the alien card. Okay, quickly, sir, and the God particle and the Mandela effect. Well, here's an interesting, I'll, I'll link a couple of things up real quick. Uh, the, the Mandela effect all of a sudden came about after Mandela's death, but Mandela actually died uh, June 26, 2013, but his official death was uh, the, the 5th of uh 
of December. Now, interestingly enough, what we had happened in 2012, mm-hmm. it was supposed to be the end of the long Mayan Bach tomb, but they recalculated that to 2013. Okay, good for you guys. But what we, what else we had happen is they found the God particle. And, and remember, uh, uh, Stephen Hawking said that if they find the God particle, it could open up a black hole and yep. create the, yeah, well, the reason for that, when they found that God particle, they had to find it by destroying it. Why does it antimatter? And it was the antimatter which set off a rift across all of the dimensions. Remember, we live in a 12, in a 10 dimensional world plus the dimension of time. So it's not just the three physical dimensions. Hence, we're so we've seen things change. That it's like, uh, let's see, in, in the Bible, you get uh, Isaiah eleven six that the lion shall lay down with the lamb. No, no, no. It reads the wolf shall lay down with the lamb. And how did when did that change? I don't remember that ever changing. Mm-hmm. You go on on Google and and put that in. You'll see pictures of a lion and a lamb, and it'll read and the wolf shall lay down with the lamb. It's like what? That's not a wolf. That's a lion. So how did the text on the picture change and the picture stay the same? I don't know. Boggles my mind. Mandela effect. But here's the thing. They carry out this 10-day ritual funeral from the 5th to the uh, the, the 15th. Right smack in the middle uh, on the 10th, you've got them handing out the Nobel Peace Prize up in uh, wherever I guess Norway is where they hold out the, where they give the prizes out. Yes. At four though for uh, Peter Higgs and his partner. I don't remember the partner. It wasn't Bose, and he died. Uh, but for finding the God particle, they found it in 2012. They confirmed it in 2013. Did they open up the pit of the abyss? And what we saw was a ritual funeral where we've got a crazy man who 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 was standing next to the most powerful man in the world, signing in a language nobody could understand, claiming to see angels flying around the stadium. And there's another show, Rob. All right, my friend, you take care of yourself. Exo Nation, Peter Kling has been my guest, www.peterkling.com. I'll be back on the other side of this break as we continue here in the X-Zone with yours truly, Rob McConnell, from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Don't go away. Modern Esoteric, Beyond Our Senses by Brad Olson, consummates the lifeology story about where humanity originates. It is the lost continents, the primitive wisdom, the mythos of creation, and the rethinking of ancient history as we are taught in academia. There is much more to the story than what we have been told. As this is the first book in the Esoteric series, Modern Esoteric starts at the beginning of time and accelerates up to this modern age. Future Esoteric is book two in the series and takes a forward-looking position ahead of today with an open and honest examination of the ET issue and various unexplained phenomena. To discover the writings of author Brad Olson, visit www.bradolson.com. That's www.bradolson.com. Are you or is someone you know struggling with addictions, depression, anxiety, relationships, low self-esteem, lack of confidence, grief, success, and prosperity? Do you know that your subconscious belief plays a big role in the outcome of your hard work? We can help you permanently change the beliefs that may be the reason for your struggles and failures. We care about getting you the return on your investment and the results you are looking for. We can help you be free of the limitations of your past and in realizing your highest potential. We work with people by phone and Skype. For more information, visit us at www.ritasoman.com. That's www.ritasoman.com. Do you think you have energy problems in your home? Do you feel better when you're away than when you're home? 
Joey Korn is a global leader in the world of dowsing who specializes in personal energy clearing and space clearing. He can help you create an ideal energy environment in your home no matter where you live in the world. Learn about his remote spiritual house cleaning services and much more at www.dowsers.com. You can get Joey's book, Dowsing, A Path to Enlightenment, as well as other dowsing books and tools, Kabbalah books, and Walter Russell books. Joey's work is really amazing. Go to dowsers.com right now. That's D-O-W-S-E-R-S dot com or call 1-877-DOWSING. That's 1-877-369-7464.